For the second straight day, parts of West Virginia are underwater, others completely wiped away. Our biggest challenge continues to be high water. In some areas, more than nine inches of rain with nowhere to go. Just like 500 or more in this shopping center, stranded when raging water tore apart a bridge the only way in or out. At least 14 people have died, including two young boys, four and eight, swept away by the floodwaters. Being a small town, you might not know everybody's name, but you're still familiar with faces, and it, it it's in where it hurts. Entire neighborhoods have been swallowed by the water. It was tragic. I just watched three houses go down the river, just floating right down and then crash. This house burning as it's pushed by the rapids. It's been a long 24 hours, and the next 24 hours may not be much easier. The governor has declared a state of emergency in more than 40 counties across the state, and that number could rise along with the water. Forecasters warn flooding will continue through the weekend.